Good morning, family. I want to thank God. I want to thank King Jesus. I want to thank the Holy Spirit and the angels for another day, another opportunity to be here with you to spread love, peace, joy, truth, and hope to all who are watching. Praise God. God is so awesome. You know, he, he wants us to love each other, you know, because for one thing, you know, we're all connected, you know, and I got a chance to experience that when God uh, uh, showed me who I am, you know, when I saw his face. He wants us to seek his face because he'll show up. And when he showed up, I experienced uh, omnipresent. And so, you know, if I love you, I'm loving me. If I hurt you, I'm hurting me because we're all one in the body of God. But I didn't know that, you know, uh, in, until, you know, I experienced God, you know, experience God, you know, uh, make it a, a point, you know, to uh, cultivate that personal relationship with him and let him show you who you are and, and what you're capable of, because we're capable of much more than what this world tells us we are. The world tries to beat us down and tell us, you know, that we can't do this and we can't do that. But with God, all things are possible. Praise God. So, you know, and what we sow, you know, we will reap. So, you know, let's sow that good stuff. Let's sow that love to one another so we can reap love. And that, that goes along with what I was led to yesterday. This is First um, Peter uh, 1, starting here at 17. And remember that the, that the Heavenly Father, whom you pray, has no favorites. What he does for one, he'll do for another. Praise God. He will, you know, just like us as chosen, you know, uh, we do uh, negativity. We got to pay for that negativity. We do positive. We got to pay for the positive. So, you know, but, uh, you know, one thing that we know is love is so much better than, than, than fear. So let's do loving things. So you get that loving stuff back. Praise God. You don't want us to hurt one another. Let's love one another. Because when you, when you hurt someone, you can't, you can't sow fear and hate and get love back. But because you get fear and hate back. But when you sow love, you get love back. Praise God. And you can't get away from that. You know, that's one of God's uh, spiritual laws. And so, you know, let's sow that love. And remember that the heavenly father to whom you pray has no favorites. He will judge or reward you according to what you do. So do that good, y'all. Let's do that love and stuff. So you must live in reverent fear of him doing your time here as temporary residence. We're only here for a short time, y'all. But, you know, we've always been spirit. You know, like I say, you know, when we were born, we go to sleep. But when you see God's face, you'll wake up. You wake up. So that's why they call it a spiritual awakening. So, you know, you can only have that by, by uh, uh, with God, you know, having a personal with him. And, you know, some people are fortunate that they've not even sought God and God has shown up. But, you know, we all have a book written about us in heaven. And so when we align with what's in the pages of those books, we have power and we have love. And, and when we accept King Jesus, we have salvation. And so get that salvation, y'all. For you know that God has paid a ransom to save you from the empty life you inherit from your ancestors. You know, that's so awesome. Jesus, you know, Jesus was a perfect being. He never did anything. He never sinned. And he died a sinner's death. You know, for us, that's love. He laid his life down for us. And us as children of God, many of us, you know, would do the same. You know, I'm willing to lay my life down for, for my enemies, for anyone, you know, that I could bring to God. You know, if I could bring anyone to God by laying my life down, I'll do it. Because that's what love does. And, you know, and just like, you know, with the attacks and stuff, you know, if it's good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for me. You know, because we're going to go through the same things that Jesus went through as children of God. And so, you know, and so, you know, having that personal, you know, with God, you know, we're going to get that salvation as well. Praise God. And it was not paid with mere gold or silver, which lose their value. It was the precious blood of Christ. That's why uh, the blood of Jesus is so powerful. Uh, you know, when we plead the blood of Jesus, you know, uh, Satan has no weapon to, to uh, combat that. So, you know, accept King Jesus and plead the blood of Jesus. And when Satan comes, you know, uh, trying to, to bring you back or, you know, send his witches and warlocks, you plead the blood of Jesus, they can't do nothing with that. Praise God. Let me see. It was the precious blood of Christ, the sinless, spotless lamb of God. God chose him as your ransom long before 
the world begun. But now in the last days, he has been revealed for your sake. Thank you, Jesus. That's why I say thank you, Jesus, because Jesus laid his life down for us. He loved us first. So, you know, as, as children of God, let's love. You know, let's come back to that fear with love. Praise God. Through Christ, you have come to trust in God. And you have placed your faith and hope in God because he raised Christ from the dead and gave him great glory. And, you know, that power that God uses to raise Christ from the dead, you know, he gives it to us as well as children of God. So, you know, we, we are empowered, you know, by the Holy Spirit. Because when God, when, when Jesus uh, died, you know, uh, he, 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 he released the Holy Spirit. So, you know, we all can, uh, can, can experience that joy and that power and that love and, and that guidance. Because Holy Spirit, you know, he, he raised Jesus from the dead and he can raise us from the dead. Praise God. Because there's a lot of us that are, are around here walking dead. And, you know, but we don't have to be. When we seek God's face, and he shows up and we awaken and then we're alive. But, you know, this world has a way of, you know, pulling us back into into uh, this worldly stuff. But but God, you know, he'll he'll pull us right back out of it. So let God pull you out of it if you're in it. Praise God. You were cleansed from your sins when you obeyed the truth. So now you must show sincere love to each other as brothers and sisters. Each, love each other deeply with all your heart. So let's love one another, you know, let's let's help bring other children who are in the dark into the light so, you know, they can have that salvation and they can have that that Holy Spirit power because nothing is stronger than Holy Spirit power. You know, you got that Satan and witchcraft on that kind of power, but that power is limited. Holy Spirit power is unlimited. So get that unlimited power, that unlimited love, and that unlimited life. And you can only do that through King Jesus and Holy Spirit, Army Angels and God Almighty. So anyway, that's all I have today, family. Let love reign in your life. There's no relationship greater than a woman with our loving and glorious creator. I love you. God bless you and have a very blessed day. Bye.